Hello guys, how is it going? Today I'm going to show you a very objective video on how to export a GPX file onto your Garmin Zumo XT or XT2. If you go on off-road tracks, you probably noticed that you cannot find a route using your Google Maps or Apple Maps. So in order to navigate through your off-road tracks, you need like a GPS. However, it's not very easy to set the route using your own GPS. It's easier to use a specific app that shows off-road tracks where some people have attempted before. So in this video, I'm going to show you a very easy way to export using your mobile phone on your phone to your Garmin Zumo XT. Okay, come with me. The first thing to do is to pair your Garmin with your phone. You just go on to settings, wireless networks and find your phone on the list. Just pair it with your Garmin. Once you've done it, you've got to install an app called Garmin Drive. You can find it on Google Play or on apps. The GPX file, you can obtain it from websites or from apps that are specifically made to draw off-road tracks. I personally use an app called Wicklock. It's quite useful, easy to use, and a lot of people here in Brazil use Wicklock to record their tracks. There, you can find the tracks and download the GPX file in order to send it to your GPS. However, you can find GPX files from any sort of track or recording app. you have to save the GPX file onto your phone. You can use your a web page or any app that you design your track. I'm going to use Wicklock. This is the track I'm going to save. So you send the file. I'm going to send onto my Google Drive. This is the name of the track. Save it. Now you go onto your Google Drive. This is the file. So I'm going to send a copy to my Garmin Drive app. Press send it and your file will be uploaded onto your Garmin Zumo XT. Once you've uploaded the file, a new message will appear on your Garmin Zumo XT. New tracks were received, just press OK and the track will be here. Now you have to convert your track onto a trip, otherwise you just have like a straight line between two points. So just press on the track, on the wrench, and convert it to a trip. Start to finish, done. Now it will calculate the route so that you can start your navigation. So this message will appear mainly because you are going to ride to ride off-road. Calculate an alternative route, no. So now your track is saved on your GPS. In order to start the navigation, just go on to apps again, but then now you go on trip planner. Your trip will be saved on your saved trips. Here are some of my trips. So you have the Caminho do Sol trip. Press go, closest entry point, and you are ready to go. Now you have your way to start navigating. Start, the GPS will show you a, uh, a way to reach to your off-road track and then the, the off-road track that has been mapped. So guys, I hope I managed to help you on how to transfer your GPX file from your phone to your Garmin Zumo XT or XT2. Uh, this is very useful. You can get the GPX file from a friend, from a website, or you can even draw your track uh, on Google Earth if you want, or on Garmin as well. A lot of people ask me the usefulness of a GPS. The GPS is very useful, especially when you want to go in the wilderness, uh, in places where Google Maps has not met the, the area and you can draw your way easily on your computer and send it to the GPS. Also, the GPS works anywhere. Anywhere you go, the GPS signal will be there. So I hope I managed to help you guys. I hope this video was useful to you. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than pleased to answer and I wish you all the best.